a wonderful, rich, smoky note. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a, well, a pre-bottling, a sample of Artbeck Dark Cove. Cove? Cove, I think, yeah. Um, the Dark Cove is a comedy bottling, 55% ABV, and it is said that it will be available as a normal bottling at 46.5, so not the typical Artbeck 46, but 46.5. Why they use this odd strength, I have no idea. Um, I received this bottle in mid-March and was told, don't publish this video in front of, well, the official release and uh, I'm sorry, I do not have any uh, information when I'm allowed to, so I keep this video back uh, until I re receive the official announcement that I'm allowed to, to publish this video. So if there is a lot more of information out on the internet, uh, when you see this video, this is due to, to well, the time lapse in between. Um, the Dark Cove is uh, a NAS whiskey, no age statement, and there is a, a big, a huge marketing effort with it, and this means it will be expensive, very expensive. Um, and uh, I think it's quite difficult to get your fingers on such a bottle. And uh, yeah, this small bottle is not for resale. Uh, I was able to find some information on the net and there's a small leaflet coming with the bottle and this leaflet somebody has copied and put on the web and so I have a printout of this small leaflet already and here I will read everything on this leaflet. Artbeck Dark Cove 55% ABV, special committee only edition. So this is the high strength edition in contrast to the 46.5, which might be probably come out sometime. Well, it's set to the to the Artback day. And when is the Artback day? Yeah, I forgot. Sometime in May, I think. So I'm quite early now. Inspired by our turbulent past, this whiskey is a clandestine meeting of Artbeck matured in ex-bourbon cask and a heart matured in dark sherry cask. Take it and hide it well. So it's for collectors. Is the quality not that good? Mm, we will see soon. Um, what you can take from the sentence is uh, it's matured in ex-bourbon cask. It's not sad. It's matured in first fill ex-bourbon casks. It's matured in Expert cast, so it should be the typical normal standard art bag matured in expert cast and a heart matured in dark sherry cask. A heart means only a small part, your heart is a small uh, organ in your complete body, and the heart of dark sherry cask means only a small part. Dark sherry means well, either. Uh, Oloroso sherry cask or uh, Pedro Jimenez sherry cask. There are a few others, uh, also full oxidized cherries, uh, but the amount of available cask is not that high, so I would, would think that it's uh, Oloroso sherry cask. Color, the darkest artback ever. And that's not true. There had been some festival bottlings on the market, which were 100% from ex sherry casks, and they had been twice as dark than this one. Well, this one is a little bit darker than the Ugidal, and the Ugidal is a whiskey which contains, I think, 10 to uh, around 10%, 12% of sherry casks, 
whiskies, which is one of my favorite art bags because this sherry cask uh, softens the art bag a little bit. And this is what I like. <clears throat> Nose. Yeah, and I've seen a comparison of the Ugedal and the Dark Cove, and the Dark Cove was 10%, 20% darker. So the amount of sherry cask whiskies in this uh, Dark Cove should be around 15%. Yeah, plus or minus. Nose. At first, meaty, earthy, and spicy. Bold notes of dark chocolate emerge against orange, rich, trickle, toffee, coffee, and oak. Wafts of a distant, smoky bonfire in the background, along with a mysterious floral note like flowering black currant bushes. <laughs> I never had that. Flowering black currant bushes, no. And lashing of linseed oil. Lashings of linseed oil. Taste. The mouthfeel is almost tart or zesty lime. Resins, dates, ginger and pepper spice surge forward, then retreat. Waves of smoldering charcoal, wood polish, wood polish. and huge tarry creosotes. Notes follow. Finally, a more savory nose uh, note escapes. Cured smoked ham and squid ink noodles. Squid ink. Wow. You know these black noodles? They are colored with the ink of a squid. Octopus. Finish. Long, spicy and rich with lingering notes of toffee, coffee and tar. Tar is not my favorite. No, not at all. This is a wonderful bottle. Very good closing and it's not for resale duty paid. So thank you to Artbag for shipping me this sample. <sighs> A wonderful rich smoky note. Vanilla Toffee. And a little lime limet in the back. So this is not that sweet as the typical art bag tan is. It's also not that malty. So it seems to me that the amount of first fill ex bourbon cask is significant. This vanilla and toffee nodes come directly from first fill ex bourbon casks. And then the longer you, you nose, the more alcohol you get. So it's now it's cooling, it's sharp alcohol, it's 55 ABV. Yeah, so we dilute it down a little bit to these 46.5, mm, yeah, we see. So this should be around 20% of added water. Ah, there's some marks in the water now. Ah, they vanish quite fast. Much smoother, intense smoke. And some oranges appearing, as said. Didn't they say oranges? No. Mm. Testy lime. Black currant bushes. No, there's a, a lighter you know, floral, mm. fruity note on top. Sweeter 
and then kicking in the ginger, the spice, the oak, yes. Peppery, no, not chili, not that sharp, no. And some oakiness developing in the back, so the sherry cask should have been from European oak. So there's definite oak in it. The aftertaste mm, becoming more pleasant and probably a little youthness, a little of a metallic note. Um, you can hide the youthness of a whiskey by extreme smoke. So the more intense the smoke is, the less you will feel the youngness of a whiskey. And a younger whiskey is intense, has power. It's no, not mature, not becoming older, darker, wiser. Yeah, these oranges or, or lime is present. The toffee is stronger and there is this. The coffee note is, is vanishing now. It's more, it's pleasant, it's rewarding aftertaste. And the sherry influence is very good. It's, it's bringing the whiskey down to a To a smooth one. So this this lime seed, can't say it's lime seed, it's oily, a little oily note in it. Yeah. yeah. Now spicy, intense. And then the oily note, the chocolate, the light bitterness coming. And the the smoke is not too strong. It's not this phenolic medicinal note. It's this bonfire note, this smoked ham note. The meat, mm, I'm not the the intense meat eater. So I'm no, no friend of grilling, no. So <clears throat> I'm not that good in, in tasting meat. So these umami notes in whiskey is always difficult for me to taste. So uh, this one remembers very much on the Ugedal. So whenever you're not able to get your fingers on such a bottle by an Ugedal, it will carry you two-thirds of the way this whiskey will and probably <laughs> you will be able <laughs> to buy two Ugedals <laughs> for the cost of one of these bottles yeah wonderful piece of work Even, oh, spicy. Even when there's no age statement on it, and I might, I have found some younger ones from, there are fresh experiment casks, fresh sherry cask in it. I don't know how, how much or how many casks they used for that. Um, it's the heart of it, but it's well, well, well blended between those casks and well, one of the best art bags I had lately. Yeah, it's not the darkest, no. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Feel free to share your thoughts about this whiskey in our whiskey database and give your comments about the taste and...